Hello guys. Yet another video today. So what I want to do is we want to make exactly as you can see here. So this is what I want to make. I want to show you how we can actually make this using Quasar. So it's going to be very fun and easy for you. So I think you're just going to be using like 20 lines of code, nothing complicated. So what I want to do now is I want to just come here. Let me take that one there. So I want to come back to my code editor. So for fa so that I can work faster, what I did is I uh, I just uh, changed everything here. So if we come back, let's go ahead and delete everything we have here. Okay. It's going to be it's not going to be a very long video. I'll try to make it short and brief. Okay, so there we go. We have an empty for the images. We're going to be using Jumia images. So this is where I got uh, the layout for the card. So we want to create uh, these cards now. So the very first thing you need to do is you need to know that each card has a, its own size. So if you come here and look at this card all the way to this point, so everything from this point to the end it sums up to a column of 12 so we want this column to be divided equally so that we can actually get the cards fitting in so now we need to give these cards a size so we come and get a div and give it a class and we do call md we need a column for this to be 4 for medium screen the small screen is going to be uh, 6 and then you need to give a call so let's just have a call of 6 all right now make sure you close this div but if you don't close it you are going to get an error here which is going to tell you that a certain div is not closed if you see this uh, div has no matching end tag so if you ever find an error like that just know you need to close that tag so now if you save this then you have that error going away now let's uh, go to a quasar so we need to get a card so the very first i'm just going to take this card here i want to come and take this card and check where it's ending it's ending at this point so come here take this card and you want to paste it you want to paste it in here so we have this card from this point all the way up here okay all right i find that uh, copying the wrong card copy that card and paste it inside here great now we have it so i can just come here and change this to uh, price so we want the price to go there no we don't want this john doe thingy so this john doe thingy is whatever we have here so this John Doe we don't want it so we'll go ahead and delete this okay just delete that John Doe and we are left with this so we can have a product name to be right there and if we come back to our app we should be having a card right about here so if you see we have this card now you see this card is fitting is has a small size so if you come back here and change the call small to 12 you realize that it's going to take the whole space all the way up to the end of the screen okay so that is a small but now the reason why it's not showing all the way up is because we have now this call which is six now to make it flex all the way up to the end we just need to alter that and we have this fitting into the end if you don't need the call you can just remove it so we need it to be six so we just go back and need the call s to be six great now we have that so if you see here we have uh, this but what we had uh, earlier in our video we had a card we had a button on the right so we need to add that button now okay so uh, right about where we have uh, this 
so we're going to change this image and have an image from Jumia so this is just uh, something we can be using to uh, copy image address so we're just going to take the image address and uh, post it here this is just for learning purposes so we come back we are going to be having an image from Jumia so there we go now we need to add a tag here for our card for our discount so if you see here we have this uh, nice looking uh, chips here which are giving the percentage for the discount now that is what we want to create so what I want to do is change this to a Q image so that we can add the uh, a Q chip inside the image so come here and close the Q image okay now what we want to do is add a Q chip in here. So a Q chip is just something you can run it from Quasar. We had looked at it earlier. So I want to give it a V ripple. A V ripple is just some nice uh, animation that happens when you uh, when you click it. I need to give it a color which is equals to B warning. Now this color warning is going to be yellow. So this is a color yellow and uh, I think that will be it for this one then close it close the q-chip now inside this q-chip now this is where we're going to be having our discount so we can say minus we can say minus 30 percent like that so we come back to our app here you realize that you're going to be, go you're going to be having a, a tag as you can see we have now this uh, tag showing us the percentage all right now we need to add a button on the right side here and you need to give this product name a different color so as you can see this p is in small letters but we want even if you add as a, a, you add a name of the product in small letters we want it to be converted to capital letter the first letter be converted to the cap to capital letter so we come here and say text capitalize something like that okay you say text capitalized so if we go back you realize that now we're going to be having this text this p as a capital if you need this to be all uppercase you can say text uppercase so that's 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 what we do so everything is going to be converted to capital letters so there you go but now we only need the capitalize so we're only going to need the capitalize and you need to change it from uh, h6 to subtitle one we can just have it to subtitle one and there we go so we have the name there and we need to add our button here so if you see now i'm going to try and teach you something here now inside this div class all right you'll notice that we have this one div class so this one div class is with what that is aligning this field here so if we want to have another div so that we can style it to float on the right we can just take this just take this copy and paste it here okay just uh, copy this and you want to paste it here so we can come here and we want to tell this to float right now if we tell it to float right it's going to float on the right side of this card okay so as you can see that now it's floating on the right side of this card but now this is below this okay but we want them to be on the same uh, 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 place so we just come this div class that you just said float light we're going to cut it and you want to put it inside the div that has the name of our product so now if we go back you realize that now things are going to be a little bit different from how they are okay so the thing is yes we have this floating right of the product but it's still under the same div okay so now uh, we are going to just introduce something else you just come here uh take your div Just take that div now what we want to do is create another div okay so create this div 
and close it close this div now we come back here and paste our code the code that we just have and tell it to float right so there we go now we need to add our button okay so uh so instead of this you need to remove everything here because we only need the button to be available okay just delete this when we are only left with the float right and now what we want to do here is just create a button and we create a button like this q btn we now need to add all the details here we can say color it was going to be equal to primary is going to inherit from your colors okay then you need the icon is equals to okay then you need to close this q button okay but now if we save this okay let's just find an icon uh, project menu i just need to find one icon here this is what i've used area uh let's come back and put that icon in there and save our work so we come back here we are going to be having a triangular button so if it doesn't show you need to refresh your page if the whole little did not really work you just need to refresh your page And now, as you can see, we have the product name here, and we have the button on the right side. So we need to make this button circular and increase its size. So if we come back here, we need to make the, uh, the button circular. So you just come here and say round, something like that. And now you just need to save your work. And the hot reload is going to do the magic for you. So as you can see, we now have that button. In case you need to increase its size, you just come back here to the button and say, uh, you just say, size is equals to 32 you can just have a size 32 button and if we go back we should be having something here all right i don't know if anything is observable here but if you change this to a 100 you can see the changes or whatever is going to be there okay oh all right oh the size has to be in pixels whatever but we don't really need to pay too much attention to that as of now you can go ahead and try to check out uh button sizes here you can uh, try and check button sizes here so if you come back go to q button you can go and check out some sizes for the buttons So you just need to click on uh, whatever button you need check if they have added some size to it oh there we go we have this one with the size but they're using dynamic sizes here but that's just basically the same idea you can just have your size like this one is 22 pixels so we can have our button to add uh, we can have it at 32 pixels like that so we go back there we go we have a very big button but we don't need the size for now so now the next thing we need to do is if you check out uh, the product name whenever we are making it float on the left side you realize that it's wrapping and the name is at the bottom here we don't want that so we want it to be uh, to go all the way to the end but if it cannot fit we need to have some ellipses all right so we need to go and where we have the product name here okay we need to come here and say ellipses so now if we save this you'll notice that this is going to go to the end 
but as you can see we have some few dots here which uh, means that there's more to the name but if you need to check to read on this again go to quasar documentation you know you see some prizes there some uh, sorry not prizes you see some uh, helpers classes there now we need to just work on the price now we need this to be kenya shillings something like that 24.50 it just need to be something like that now uh, what we want to do is just pick this div just pick any div here that we can work with copy this and we want to use it here and let's close this so what we want to do is make this uh, we don't want the ellipsis, but we need the text to be bold. So we come here to say text bold. You can have it as text bold. Something like that. Great. Now we need to have the discount section. So we need to know how much money after the discount is going to we are going to be having. Just copy this. Then come at the bottom here. We need to change the text from bold to gray. Okay. Then text from subtitle to a smaller one, which we are going to be using caption. Okay, so we come back, then we can say the price was at uh, 5,000. Okay, then if we come back here, you realize that now we have this uh, nice looking price and there are more details down there. Okay. So now this button you can just make it dynamic if you want to make it dynamic in your ad systems you just uh, check how other buttons are working now if we expand this you can actually see that we have uh, this now so this is what we have right so you can just uh, now when you need to make this dynamic i have uh, looked at uh, uh, several videos on how you can do it so you just need to have one cut but because we are dealing with uh, different uh, different images for this case or oh, it's static data i can just copy these several times and if we come here and inspect this on a mobile device we should have it looking something like this very nice now if you don't want this cut to have this shadow like this and you want it to be flat you just come back here let's go to the first card the q card here and inside here just give it a flat okay so if you give it a flat it's going to lose the borders and it's just going to appear like it's blending in with the background as you can see it looks like it's blending in with the background let me add the second card let me give the second card q card here we go Let's make it flat and if we go back here and check how it's behaving as you can see now it's going to be flat now this is going to be entirely on if you that this is how you want it to look like or not so that will be it so i hope i have helped you learn something if you like it leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this so see you in the next one guys